The topic escaped my lips before I could even cons reconsider my words. I immediately winced. I've got that Ralph would be reminded of that incident, whatever I mentioned, Lan. I wonder if I can shift the topic. Lay, you're senior. Too late. I'm so sorry you're acquainted with her. Silence hung in the air for a moment, in which we both dropped our shoulders once at the same mem as the same memory entered both our heads. I hate her so much. You know, your crying face. Ow. My deepest apologies. I was saving my virginity for you. Oh, stop that. You're overreacting. She didn't do anything of the sort. I made sure of that. That reminds me. She may have something planned. Presumably your eternal doom. Again. Odd that Jeb's the one who wanted me to go to Pavari in the first place. It's as if he knows you're coming with me and intends to destroy you all over again. Our sighs correspond exactly. Javorin wanted to accidentally disable me because he's too overprotective of Ralph. Lyon, on the other hand, wanted to destroy Ralph inwardly so I may be free of his burden. We share the same embarrassment to have such destructive companions. Since Javorin knows I'm a witch, he would sometimes turn crazy insane whenever I get too close to Ralph. I don't... I don't get it initially because he seems so happy to pair me with Ralph in one minute, then the next minute he'll get so obsessively jealous. And I remember, he likes Ralph. Like, really likes Ralph. Like, wants to fuck him. Like him. Once King Jeberin invited me to a masquerade ball just to openly humiliate and downgrade me. Long story short, I burnt down a chandelier and a lot of people ran in terror. I think I almost got a death sentence from his highness, but then Ralph came and rescued me, I suppose. For Ralph's part of this torture, that is my senior, he got pinned by Lei during the same ball, and that idiot of a mentor gave him a death kiss. It was too late for me to prevent the kiss, but I tried to concoct a cure before he actually died. Made it in one month. Thank the death god for sparing the man's life for exactly one month so I could concoct my potion. I got so angry at Lei, Trop had to hold me back from burning her. It's a good thing that Ralph understands the deal I had with the prince, so he didn't spill anything to Jeb. Javorin. Both of us had our fair share of crap happening to us due to our friendly relationship. It's also safe to say that without each other, we would literally die facing our problems alone. It's surprising that we're both still stuck together after all that had happened. Just then, Ralph spoke up again. I don't mean to intrude whatever fashion statement you witches are concerned with, but... How can you stand this heat while wearing that dreadful cloak? Well, I caught myself trapped in the fire too many times, so this heat is nothing. <laughs> Shocked face. You're not human. Of course I'm not. I'm a witch. Aren't witches humans too? Witches are corrupted humans. They're selfish souls who would inflict harm upon others for their personal gain. I recited for my studies happily, finally being able to use all those terms and definitions I painstakingly memorized. You do realize you're talking about yourself there, right? Why, yes. In fact, I'm very proud about it. Ralph sighed heavily at my answer. I inwardly pouted. It took me a lot of energy to memorize all those... things, to at least impress a human. Why can't he appreciate my effort? Yaw. I appreciate it. After a while, I realized that Ralph is dragging behind in his steps. Is the heat really bothering him? Tell me again why we can't just use a shortcut. Because, Ralph, the only way to pass on that road is through the Harminger Bridge, and I refuse to step on that bridge. Please stop calling me a raft. I'm not afloat. And why would you not use that bridge, Felicia? The very reason it was built is for people to cross it. Ugh. Why must he call me by that name? Or are you secretly terrified of the troll that lives under there? First of all, I would keep calling you Ralph until you stop calling me Felicia. That name is embarrassing, just call me Fel. Secondly, that bridge is not meant to be crossed. You humans are so stupid. Don't you know the reason why the troll attacks every person passing... every passing person who steps on the bridge? There was a pause from them, as though he thought about my question. Wait, what do you mean? Trolls bury their deceased loved ones underwater between, in between two split lands. 
Then they build a tall tomb in the middle of the lands, right on top of their dead relative's body. I began quite annoyed sometimes that humans just don't understand these things, and kept making up stories as long as they're right. With that long tomb, you stupid humans thought it's a pillar to thought it was a pillar to support a bridge. And you idiotically built a bridge using that tomb as a pillar to connect the two lands. So of course the troll is angry if anyone's stepping on top of their loved ones, you idiot. He was stunned silent. to you? His sudden change of expression awoke me from my raging trance. I took in a deep inhale before crossing my arms, calming myself before answering his question. No. You listened to me, so you're an exception. I was being honest, and the knight's expression changed again. Most humans have listening problems, always mistaking things other for always mistaking things other than what benefits them is wrong. Ralph is different, because unlike most humans, he listens. He may have his own ideas and beliefs, but he still listened. Not just to me, but to others too, I noticed. I'll never admit this to him, but by just watching him being a better person like that, I'm slowly feeling more and more comfortable with him. I'll tell Jeff to construct another bridge near Harminger, so people won't use that troll bridge anymore. His words stunned me for a moment, and he smiled and nodded at me. At this, I returned the smile gratefully. Mr. Gronk would like that. Please apologize to him about his wife and us, and stepping on her tomb. We honestly didn't know. Gladly. I'm thankful that this man saved me that night. I tried to kill myself thinking I could be reborn as someone better. That was really stupid of me, <laughs> because I missed to see something important. I wanted to die because I thought I couldn't do anything right, but that's not the case. It's not that I can never be better. It's just that I haven't had the chance to. Anyone can be better. They just have to live long enough to strive and be better. So in the end, suicide isn't really the solution at all. Nobody is ever worthless. Even Ralph here. He changed from that time when I thought he was pathetic. He's a great person and he taught me lots of things about emotions and humanity. He doesn't just change himself. He helped the whole country of Krona change for the better, using the information he learned from me. That's probably the best and most beneficial thing he achieved in his life up to date. Krona changed so much, even us witches stopped causing havoc to the people there in these months we've known each other. It's all thanks to this knight named Raphael. He achieved all that. deserves everything good, every blessing, every kindness. I think I can understand why King Javorn treasures him so much. Speaking of the king, I was reminded of the mission he gave Ralph. He was tasked to go to Pavaria to warn the princess there of an oncoming attack from the Sea Dwellers. This is where my role comes in, to investigate and ask the Mer people myself. I've never really met one, though. This is my time. This is my first time traveling to a new land. Both me and Trap were pretty shocked to hear that task from Lei back in the assemblage. 